It was a story the website Deadspin broke on Friday. The gruesome details of Greg Hardy's domestic violence arrest in May of 2014. Hardy is currently a defensive end with the Dallas Cowboys, signed in the offseason, called a leader by his team owner. The story has been the talk of the NFL all weekend, with some exceptions, like our own Tom Brady. We'll get to him in a minute, but for those of you who haven't seen it, a warning. Some of the photos are graphic. They show numerous large bruises on Hardy's ex-girlfriend's back, arms, legs, and throat after he threw her on a bed covered with guns. He was arrested and convicted of assault and threatening. Those charges were later dismissed when he appealed and his accuser did not appear in court. Hardy was also suspended by the NFL with pay for the end of the 2014 season and without pay for what was supposed to be 10 games but ultimately became four this season. So he's been playing for a few weeks now, but let's go back to our hometown quarterback's reaction, shall we? Here's part of his interview on WEEI Radio this morning. Michael Bennett, uh, Seattle Seahawks, says, I wouldn't want him, we wouldn't want him in our locker room. Uh, Jason Kelsey from the Eagles says, it's a joke that he's able to play. Uh, would you allow a guy like that? I mean, that's that's a, I mean, I don't know him at all. Obviously, I, I, I'm going to stay away from that one. There's nothing good for me there. <laughs> but do you but do you, do you think there's do you think that you as 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 Tom Brady is one of the voices in the league might have more responsibility than other players to speak up if somebody like that there's a chance that that guy comes to your locker room? I'm just going to stay out of that one guys. I have no I have no comment. He may not have a comment, but we do. I'm joined by Shira Springer. She's a sports reporter with the Boston Globe. Shira, it's good to see you. Good to see Steve you. Fryer, sports and broadcasting agent, who also signed with the Denver Broncos shortly after graduating college. Steve, it's great to see you again. Are you surprised by Brady's reluctance, refusal to talk about this this morning? No, this is a guy who doesn't take a strong stand on anything except what happens in the game. And I think it's really disappointing, and the timing is really bad in this sense. You know, Why? you see today the University of Missouri yeah. with their president and the football team said, listen, we're not going to play until he resigns. Because Over they, issues of racism exactly, and how they were dealt with. Exactly, on campus, exactly. And, and two days after the football team took that stand, the University of Missouri president resigned. So you can see that if you if you as an athlete, as a prominent figure in your community, whether it's on college campus or whether it's with the New England Patriots in the NFL, if you take a stand, you can have an impact. And I think that's what makes Tom Brady's lack of a stance doubly disappointing because you know, he could have a real impact. Steve, it's not the first time. Right after the Ray Rice thing happened, and this is the guy for the Ravens who punched out his then fiance, subsequently his wife. Here's what Brady said also on WEI, September of last year. I try to stay in my lane. All of those things, none of it's really my business or my control. She's not surprised. Are you that he didn't say I'm that? I'm not surprised either. Uh, yeah, there's two things. He's done the calculus and he's thought about whether he could indeed have an impact and whether there would be blowback toward him. And I think he, his decision is he's protecting the TB12 brand and just doesn't want to step there. How does he protect the brand by, uh, he's got a kid he, uh, who's a girl, he has a wife. How is he protecting the brand? Well, I would say there are about three people in America who are not condemning Greg Hardy, probably his two <laughs> siblings, if he has them, and the <laughs> owner, right? Yeah, the so how does he protect right. the brand when he stays out of an issue where there's such universal condemnation? He just wants to, as, as you quoted them as saying, he skates his lane, he just doesn't want to get involved with that, he's not going to get into any political commentary. I don't think it's a good idea that he does that, but... Uh, you think it's not a good... I mean, if he was your client, you'd advise him to say something? Yeah, I would advise him to say what he feels. What, what do you he think believes. he feels? I would hope that he condemns it like 99% of other people. You know, the question for me is, is the silence a message coming down from above? You remember last year when the same Ray Rice thing happened, and we've all seen the video uh, ad nauseum, the first video and the second video where you actually see her being dragged out of the elevator, appears apparently un, uh, unconscious. Bob Kraft, Robert Kraft, Mr. Kraft is on CBS on national television defending how Roger Goodell handled this, originally just two game suspension. The way he, meaning Goodell, handled the situation himself, coming out with a mea culpa in his statement a few weeks ago or 10 days ago and setting a very clear policy, how we conduct ourselves in the NFL. I thought it was excellent. Anyone who was second guessing that 
doesn't know him, meaning uh, uh, Goodell. So is it possible in defense of Brady that the message in the Patriots organization, all, even though they all talk about 1996 mm -hmm. when Myra mm -hmm. Kraft was alive and they cut a player, Christian, Christian Peter, Peter, a week after drafting him because of uh, uh, violence against women. That was 20 issues. years ago. Is it possible that's the in message in this team? Maybe not only this team. Say nothing, just focus on the game. Well, if it is, I still think Brady should say something. I mean, he's his own man. He's, what, 38 years old now? I mean, you should be old enough at this point, if you have an opinion and you feel strongly about it, to speak it. He's made a conscious choice not to. But also, getting back to Robert Kraft, I don't think that's the message he wants to send. Because if you recall, about six weeks ago, he entered into a partnership with oh, the with Attorney General. Oh, with Mark Healy, the Attorney exactly, General. Exactly, with the Attorney right. General's Actually, office. Actually, you wrote about that. Yes. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, to, to basically fight domestic violence from the high school, you know, athletic teams and high school ages on Okay, up. well then let me ask a stupid question. When you have an, I, I used, I'll, when you have a dolt like Jerry Jones, who is the oh, owner of the Dallas Cowboys, who is saying he's a leader, meaning his guy, who by the way, he's caused problems on the team itself, not just what he did to this girlfriend and I assume other people too. Why doesn't one owner stand up and say, I have great respect for Jerry Jones, whatever you're supposed to say, but this, he is not a leader, he's a criminal. Why, doesn't, has to why doesn't he say that? Because he's, he is one thirty-second of the greatest entertainment enterprise on the planet. 32 and they teams. they don't want to mess it up. So with this, Matt, let's get back but to Brady for a second. Shouldn't this be that? bigger than that? Shouldn't they have issues that are bigger than that? Shouldn't, you know, the, uh, one, I mean, one, never mind, one owner, a bunch of owners. This is, to me, should be one of those watershed issues well, in the, the league. There's a fortress mentality now, right now. The, the, the NFL feels like it's under siege because of the uh, concussion issue, because of uh, domestic abuse, because of uh, uh, steroid use, and there is a fortress mentality, so they close ranks. But it's a siege, siege of their, the their own making. Well, believe me, I'm not, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a siege of their own making. But, yeah. Yeah, so, okay, so Wait, I'm not defending that. Yeah. Okay, every, all three of us seem to think they should say something. Let's assume, staying with Brady, but whether it's Kraft Brady, would it matter? Would it matter to the players if they said something? Would it matter to the public if they said something? That's a very good question. Would it matter to the players? You're talking about a league that is 68% African American. Would the majority of the players uh, have any interest in what uh, tall, white, handsome, married to a beautiful wife Tom Brady has to say? And, and so I you answer that apparently is no. I, How about to the public? It seems to me that the public, who for the most part idolizes Tom Brady, at least kids, I don't know about adults outside of New England, who idolize Tom Brady, doesn't his silence send a message that is painful? My hero, Tom Brady, either doesn't care about this or decides it's not important enough to talk about it. I, I, I think it's none of the above. I think that they look at... Tom Brady as a football player, they don't see him as a, a kid? spokesperson for a the kid? league. A kid? A kid, yeah. A kid, every kid has seen those video, those pictures from Deadspin. I think we'd all agree. Oh, and absolutely. And then they hear that yeah, Tom Brady, yeah, yeah. would it matter to those kids, to anybody think, in the I public? Think, I think it matters. I think kids idolize Tom Brady. I think they imitate everything from how a pro player wears his hat to the type of shoes he wears. I think every little thing a professional athlete does, and they don't even have to be as big a stature, have as big a stature as Tom Brady, has an impact on the kids who idolize them. Well, here's a guy a who doesn't have the same stature. Nephew, that Michael Bennett guy we mentioned from the Seattle Seahawks. I'm the father of three daughters, so any man that beats a woman, I think that's hard for me to swallow. Shira, it's good to see you. Good to Steve, see you. Steve, it's good to see you again. Good Thanks to see you, so much Jim. for your time. I appreciate it.